Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. It's me, Cooper, and today I have interesting news. I got a Stingmon, but I didn't just go out and catch a Stingmon. Stingmon came from one of our very own. Do you guys remember Piximon? Well, Piximon has been transformed into a Stingmon by de-evolution and then loading Digimon to evolve them into Stingmon. So now with Stingmon and XVmon, once we get them both to level 30, we can get a new evolution that is also a Digifusion, which I think will be cool. Uh, yes, perhaps it's- Oh, I have to go back to my real job. I don't get to- uh, Man, I don't want to go back to my real job. I don't want to be a Cyber Sleuth. <laughs> I don't want to be a cyber sleuth. I want to go fight the Royal Knights. I just killed Craniumon. Man. Alright, well, let's see. Dr. Datamon develops medicine. Not enough food. Constant bragging. Poor cold Digimon. Alright. Kind-hearted girl. Candy store. Broadway third floor. Got it. I saw a metal Greymon. You saw a metal Greymon? Holy crap. That Just like that by itself is amazing. So, when I went to Shinjuku with my mother the other day, we saw this mysterious navy blue creature. When I asked my friend, uh, my, uh, my friend said, that's Metal Greymon. Navy blue, I don't know if that's actually Metal Greymon. But anyway, his face looked really sad and he looked cold, like he was going to freeze to death. So, I want to give the creature a warm quilt as a present. Will you come with me to the store over there? Hey, please come inside and see our quilts. Uh, today, we're having a sale on a special lower price just for today. Ah, that looks fluffy and warm. Uh, please buy that one. I'm sure the creature will really like it. The blanket was 10,000 yen. Can we get the price to lower it a little bit? Don't you think you can pay? Wait, do you think this girl can pay that much? Uh, do you think this girl can pay that much? No, you're paying for her seeing as you're- Ah, oh, I see. Uh, how about 8,000 yen? Oh, just look into her eyes. Can't you do any better? Okay, you got me. If I lower price a little more, will you take it? 6,000 yen. Alright, you know, I would be okay, let's go home, but 6,000 is fine. I probably could have gone lower, but I'm going to be nice. Alright, let's see. Please, detective. Okay, where, where is it? That creature I saw in Shinjuku, his name is Metal Greymon. Alright, I'll go give him a blanket. I'll tell him it's from a nice little girl. Aw, oh, man. I wish you could have came with me. I want to see the little gray mom be like, Oh, that girl, you're a nice little kid. Thank you. Although, if it's navy blue, then it might be a metal gray mom blue if they have those. What the hell? This Baltimore is packed with people's grievances. I hear strange groans during the night. I saw a monster shadow in Nakano Broadway. Ah, lots of bizarre things. Hey, we got another case to tackle. Hope you're ready. Alright, a lot of pent up rage from the residents, huh? So basically, some there's some people talking shit on my good name, and now I have to show them what's up. But first, I want to go deal with the deal with this quilt. Uh, she said Shinjuku, I believe. So there's just a Mel Greymon chilling around here. Maybe they're over here in this corner. I saw Kabuterimon. Nope, but Patamon is. Yep, yeah, really busy world here. Let me uh, well, where no one, I'm already where no one could see me. So let's go stealth hide mode. And then let's sneak on in. There's no one that can stop me now. I'm just gonna slip in. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. I'm gonna slip in and give Metal Greymon what they need. Yeah. Lilymon. Did she say Shinjuku? You know what? It's, I'm on a case right now, so I should be able to just read it, because I'm not seeing him. It is Metal Greymon Blue. I was right, but, uh... I'm still not seeing them. Oh, there they are, hiding way in the corner. Ugh, damn, huh? What is it? If you don't want anything, just go away. I'll bite you. Uh, this? A little human girl got it for me? I looked cold, so she asked you to bring me this? Wow. It's so warm. I wasn't actually cold. After I came to this world, I was afraid some heartless humans would attack me, so I quickly changed my body. But because I rushed changes, my body hasn't caught up yet, so I'm walking around in pain like this. Ah. Old music box. Interesting. All right, cool. So he forced himself to evolve, which is why he's pro which is probably why he's a metal Greymon and blue and not regular, because metal Greymon blue is a uh, form of corrupted Greymon. 
it's a virus type over the regular Greymon. Alright. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. You're gonna teleport me to the other side. Thank you very much, sir. Even though there's plenty of other people on that other side there, so it's not like you're doing your job. Yeah, I'm just gonna go over here. And we're gonna head back to uh, Nakano. And I'm gonna go straight to the third floor and tell that little girl what's what. Alright, here we go. Hey, he gave you a music box. Yep, here's a little present from him. You like it? Oh. Oh, you're moving? Oh, uh, you were projecting. You thought it you thought the creature looked cold when he was really in pain, but really you were in pain because you're moving. Which is probably a good idea as the digital world is mixed in our world and is probably going to be very very dangerous. All right, let's go ahead and turn in the quest. Ooh, there's a new main quest up on the board. I should probably deal with that, which is the one that I've been... I'm in trouble, apparently. Oh, this is Kate from the Broadway Management. There are strange rumors in Broadway. Solve them with these guys. Oh, God. I don't even want to. There's no... Di that last mission, there was no Digimon involved. Did not really enjoy them. Of course it's you guys. Hey, you're early today. Of course, we heard they had something intriguing to show with us. Yeah, what's up? Sorry, Detective, she's just a little worked up. That's May for you, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Mm. Yeah, I thought you guys would quit the cult club after what happened. Aw, she really loves her club. That's great. Yeah, what, uh, do you want to help us? And the cause the leagues apart from anything else you could uh, call an occult mecca around here. Yeah, you think that there's a lot of occult stuff happening here, too, right? Yeah. You know, I'd rather play Digimon than this game. Because this game right now is not Digimon. And there's a skeleton pool home to a pile of abandoned corpses that turn bones overnight. Okay. Yep. Yep. See, this would all be cool. Though. There was one mission where, like, a real death happened, and that was kind of interesting. But there was not enough Digimon involved. You gotta mix the Digimon into the death. It makes it, it, makes it more interesting. Like a ghost possessing a Digimon. That would be interesting. Okay. And so they've asked me to solve some, but even my assistant on the board, there are just too many for us to handle ourselves. Four different off phenomenon going on here. And the, yeah, yeah, let's see. Four oddities. First, I wanted to figure out what's behind the three-legged Matthew who wanders around these parts in search of something. Then I want you to look into Katakata, who roams the floors of Nakano Broadway. After that, I want you to go to the Reaper Elevator, uh, ele ele elevator which is uh, something about 2 a.m. Okay, and there's a lot of this. Alright, what will we do? We're going to K Cafe, apparently. Okay. You girls go over there, too. I'll, I'll probably be meeting you soon, because my boss won't let me do anything. Damn it, I don't want to. I want to play Digimon. Stop making me do this dumb stuff. It's too uh, it's nothing too severe right now, but I can tell things are starting to get unstable with Cooper's body. Yep, yep, there's a problem. Really, Cooper seems to have even forgotten what's happened there. What happened where? Oh god, I forgot. Yeah, they're right, I forgot something. Since we're here, might as well start on the first floor. So yeah, our our cyber body's starting to give out, which means our human body might be giving out. All right, let's go find the three-legged Matthew. I wonder why she names him Matthew. All right, you see anything? 30 years ago, there was this popular Anita doll whose clothes were, you could swap out. Matthew was another doll who was her ex-boyfriend. Originally, he was described as... Why would they make a doll as an ex-boyfriend? That's amazing. All right, at some point, Lance and Anita got hitched, and Matthew was relegated as the ex-boyfriend position. So that's why. Okay, that's interesting. I like that. Okay, first floor first. Let's see what we can do. What do you need? What do you have? After he lost Anita to Lance, Matthew went insane and attacked Lance, chopping his body up and sending the pieces to Anita. That is messed up! When he tried to send the final piece to her, a single leg. Because as it turned out, Anita was putting Lance's body back together using forbidden dark magic. And what Matthew did in response was to attach that final leg to his own body. 
ostensibly in an effort to ensure Lance can never be revived. Ever since, he's apparently been walking around much... Okay, this is a weird story. So it's a dull story. This is a dull story. Yeah. You know, I think Monica and Kenji make a cute pair, don't you? Oh, but don't tell them I said that. You're useless. Not go to Broadway, yada yada. Alright, that was everybody. Yeah, nothing out of the ordinary here. Let's go to floor two. See what we can find. Alright, kata kata. Well, time's a-wasting. Off we go. This is literally just going to be them telling me stories. From what I can tell, Kataka is derived from the famous Teka Teka legend. Teka Teka is an apparition who's lost their feet in the train accident. She can travel up to 150 km uh, kilometers per hour with just her arms. That is that is actually terrifying. Yeah. Uh, cool. That's a terrifying idea. Uh, she makes so and she moves her arms. So where does Kata Kata come from? I don't know. Or... Like, if there was an actual demon in this game that was running around at 150 miles an hour on their arms, then yes. Or not demon, but, like, revived person. Whatever. Alright, third floor. Is this just, like, is the, did the guy who made this game, or one of the guys, just really wanted to tell some folktales? And, like, they just snuck it into a Digimon game? And, like, they were like, eh, we need some padding. Hey, Mona. Oh, wait, Monica, how are you going? How are things going with you and Kenji? How far have you two progressed? Tell me, tell me. Yeah, you guys are wasting time, that's for sure. Let me go talk to Kenji. Maybe he'll tell me. If you happen to meet Katakata, she'll ask, need your legs? And then if you get, and if you don't give her the right response, she'll run off with yours. I'm using them right now. Wow. So as long as you tell her, hey, I, I need them. I'm using them right now. She'll be like, ah, oh, shit, I understand. Oh, hey, I think I figured out why she's called Katakata. Katakata originally lost her legs flying off onto the train tracks, yada, so maybe her name comes from the sound teeth make when chattering. Oh. That means nothing to me. Okay, fourth floor. That's... What if we go to the fourth floor and, like, there's just dead bodies everywhere? That would be amazing. All right, Reaper Elevator, 2 a.m. Nothing's showing up or appearing. She wants to see the Grim Reaper. You're an interesting lady, I'll give you that. Alright, alright, let's do the Kotsu Kotsu in the cafe. Hopefully something pops up so you don't go crazy. I can't believe she's having a tantrum. I want to see Matthew Katakata the Reaper Elver, the master tip tap. It's okay, something will happen. It's the elevator. Oh, finally, it's real! Yay, and we hear the kata kata! Whoa, what the hell? It's just an old man. Hello, old man. Yeah, what are you doing here? Well, actually, it makes sense. My grandpa, yeah, my grandpa gets up early. Well, not mine, I don't have a grandpa. But, uh, yeah. Other people's grandpas probably get up early. So, he's got the third leg, he makes the katakata kata noise with his teeth, and then he, like, he makes the tap-tap noise, and he uses the elevator really early. Yep, all four urban legends, one man. This is, this is so boring. Why would you put this in my Digimon game? I know it's your Digimon game, you you guys made it, but god damn it, I want to smack you sometimes. There was so much cool stuff happening in the past few episodes, and now we're just like, blah. blah. Sometimes I want to put like a notice on some of my own episodes and just be like, hey guys, just skip this one. Just skip this part of it, because I don't care about these these folklore stuff. I well I do if they go if they turn into something real, but normally it's just meh. Aw, she wants to read it herself. Yeah, Lily just wants to play matchmaker. Yeah, they're growing up so fast. That uh, was not fun, I'm sorry. You're wasting my cyber girl body, which we all agree is going out. What's going on here?
Hey, it's Pete. Miko? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait a minute. Was that guy one of the original Digimon tamers? <laughs> Wait a minute. What the? Why do I recognize him? It's not going to affect, uh, affect Examon for a while. Go be productive. Take on some cases. I haven't seen Pete in a while. I doubt he's left Nakano Bride, but there's... Oh wait, there's... There, but something's been troubling him. Go find him. All right, let's go find Pete. What's this? Oh, wow, I can connect you from there. So, Pete is somewhere in this building. Nope. Let's try over here. Pete. Peterson. Good old Pete. He's probably at the K-Cafe. You know, I'm just going to jump over all the way up there. He's probably there. That's the last place we saw him. All right. I'm in the cutscene. Pete, K Cafe Pete, you're probably there. Plus, that's where most missions start anyway. Pete, Pete, have you seen Pete? Pete. All right, so maybe he. Le no, I saw him leaving the K Cafe, so maybe he's on the fourth floor. Have any of you guys seen my friend Pete? He's a good guy. I trust him with my life. He's uh, also a cat creature, so you know, there's that. You, none of you, not you, none of you have seen a little cat Digimon. Digimon are real now, so it's not like you guys are... Oh, there he is. What's up, Pete? D do you know what I am? A Digimon. I don't feel anything at all. Not a thing. Well, Pete! Pete? What happened? Huh, just come back here for now. A new case just came in. That's... Okay. 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 So, Pete just disappeared, and that actually does worry me, because I, I, I like the little guy. I gotta admit it, I like the little guy. I want him to be okay. So hopefully we can find out what's up with Pete. It's not, uh, no, 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 I'm trying to talk to you about Pete. I have to go to the board. You, you just, you just... Uh, you. Alright, go... Ooh, level 4 mission, finally! I've been looking for him so long. My Miko, my poor cat. Please find Miko. This is actually interesting. So the old man we saw has a purpose. Yes, I, I remember him. Okay, K Cafe. Thank you. That's all I needed to know. Everything else you say will be useless to me. I'm going to K Cafe now. Let's use the teleporter. The Reaper elevator. Alright, so now that we're up here, let's get in there. Uh-oh. Is there an earthquake? What the hell? Is Examon awake? Hey, you guys feel that earthquake? Oh. That's a problem. Um, can I tell you that I felt an earthquake? Oh wow, a whole day has passed. Alright, so a whole day passed and now- Oh, because we have to wait till the morning. He doesn't show up until the morning. Okay. But how does he get in here if it's morning? They, they, they're they not open this early. Yeah, they're not even open. Oh, it's you again. I've been waiting for you, you know. Huh? You stopped by yesterday afternoon but couldn't find me. What's done is done. Let's just bygones be bygones and start searching now. Okay. My Miko, you see, he's he's inside the, this wall here. Oh, another earthquake. What the hell? Uh, Yeah. What? An earthquake? Yeah. So I'm sensing digital waves in the form of earthquake. Hey, there is Pete. It's better not knowing. Things are fine just as they are now. It's better if they don't change. Please stop. Don't wake me up from this. So Pete is finally getting his memories. Come back to Amiko. Come back. I'm not. Cooper, please. Leave me alone. Let things stay the way they are. But you're the one who wanted your memory back. What's up with you now? We need to talk. Yeah, the vibrations have stopped, but my heart hasn't. There's something wrong with Pete, Miko, whatever. I'm going in. I'm going deeper. Don't worry, old man. I'm going to save your cat and my cat, too. I care about him. He took over Kyoko's position when she was gone. Oh, you're going to wake up from this dream, buddy. I need to figure out who you are. 
All right. Uh, right or left? Ooh, Monzaemon. It's cool. An ultimate level Digimon. This is where we're going to get our experience. Though. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I did a little bit too much. No, I was going to say, this is where we get our experience then. But yeah, he's, he's not strong enough. All right. There we go. Let's just take this path right here. And keep on a going. All right, instantly. Oh, got him on a black. Got him on. Cool. Uh, virus is the one problem. Kill the virus. We can kill the data type very easily with a good place nightmare. Three times effective. And a crit. Oh my god. <laughs> 1100 damage. Beautiful. There we go. Level ups for all. Let's see. Heavy strike. Getting rid of level one then. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Crescent leap for you. And I can't get to there, so I have to bounce around. The entrance is right here, actually. Perfect. Oh no, it might be under here. No, it's right here. Perfect. So this place has a lot of maze-like qualities to it, but who knows where where we'll end up. I seem to get pretty lucky on pretty lucky on these. Uh oh. There was one path that keeps going, so I should go back to it. Alright, maybe this path will lead us to somewhere new. Ooh, oh no, I was gonna say, or a bigger dead end, but no, this was the right path. Alright, what else is in here? Double Monzaemons! Okay, that's at least a little bit more entertaining. They're gonna die just the same, but a little bit more entertaining indeed. Nightmare. Goodbye, Monzaemon. Huh, I always thought they were a holy type, but I guess they're not in this game. Diaboromon's right next to another level. Everyone else is doing real good, though. We need to get to level 30. That's how we'll get our next ultimate level Digimon. That's a Digifusion on the sa at the same time. Which I think is just neat. Uh, Pete, this is more important than whatever you're going through. Alright, let's go find Pete. You're causing earthquakes, Pete. I want you to understand that. You're causing earthquakes. And we can't have that. It's too dangerous. Also, this place seems annoying as hell. I'm looking at it right now. This does not seem like a fun area. I don't like mazes, and this looks like more than just a maze. It looks like a mega maze. A Mega Man maze. Oh, wait. You're up there. Okay. How the hell do I get up there? Well, luckily for me, I do have the ability to destroy this firewall. I'm going to use my wall cracker. There we go. Get me that SP Restraint Chip B. And let's head upstairs and see if we can find a way into that area. Hmm. I must have to go even higher. Oh look, there's a way to go even higher up there. Back where the Digilab is. Interesting. Yeah, this is going to be a huge maze-like area. I'm getting ready to get lost all the time. There's another data thing down there. Inter oh, there's one right here. Construction plans for Nakano Broadway, hereby abbreviated, was announced in 1959, ultimately taking seven years to complete. The reason for the lengthy duration was due to a major issue that routinely manifested throughout the process. During land leveling, underground water leaked, resulting in immediate halt to any work in the area. A large lake formed and the site was left alone for a long time. Mysteriously, large fish appeared en masse, attracting fishermen. Records also indicate people bathe here in a large numbers and uh, that a child at one point drowned in the lake. Oh, great. That's... yeah. That's great. A strange Digimon appeared in the middle of my bed. It was so cold in there. Even though, even when I tried calling for help, nobody came for me. But these two detectives eventually showed up. Oh, this is, yeah, I was gonna say, this is, this is our kitty friend. Yeah. Alright, we got a code word for Pete. It's one, uh, this, this is interesting. This is gonna give us the backstory of the whole area, probably. Maybe. No guarantees. Is there one over here? Okay, just checking. I need to get back to where I started. No Digimon in this area. Don't even they even want to mess with us because we got Megas. So yeah, these guys appear and it's just like, oh, you're you're both dead. Oh, I thought I was oh, I thought I was Diaboromon because Diaboromon always goes first. Damn it, what a waste. And Piedmon stands no chance of killing Garurumon, so that sucks. Should have been paying more attention. That's on me. 
And I paid the ultimate price, 100 damage. I'm going to hell for that. <laughs> 100 damage is too steep a price. I will never, for, I will never recover from this. As I instantly, no, he didn't level up, but, but Diaboramon leveled up, so that's good. Stingmon leveled up too. I need to get them to level 30, everybody. Once they're at level 30, we are in the clear. But that's gonna take a lot of experience. That's a lot. All right, so let's see. One of the areas that could have data is right there. Right there. So I need to go up to get that data. That's the data. That's where we get it. Right up there. So if I take this path, I will get to it. Okay, good. This is data, for sure. If I go this way, I will get what I need. Ah, you two again. But you got the back attack on us, so you get to hurt my Piedmon again. You jerks. Heaven's Knuckle, that's pretty strong. I should know. I was using it many times. Oh, now Diaboromon's faster. Okay. It doesn't really matter, because I'm just going to use my uh, most powerful Digimons. Wow, triple attack. That was rude. Alright, go ahead and just try your Gaia Element. That sounds like a cooler attack. I know Nightmare is awesome, but this move sounds cool. There we go. Mock Rush. Uh, we don't need a Guard Charge, let's be honest. Alright, there we go. Not bad. I just want to get more levels. I just want to evolve. Also, I want to figure out what's up with Pete. What's going on with my little buddy? Alright, what's this one? No blueprints exist for the Broadway. 1961 saw the Japanese government commence its income doubling plan in order to re-energize the post-war economy. In tandem with unemployment policies, public works fu projects flooded the country with major construction companies and huge bu uh, budgets. Around 1962, one such project was the Chudo Expressway, was, and it was completed ahead of schedule. It was all the point of attention turned back to towards uh, this Broadway. Idle laborers and resources were funneled into the area uh, from central Tokyo, at which point on the building command Yeah, it, it was great. It's likely that this is the time that even preparing blue yada yada yada. So basically, they didn't have blueprints. Uh... Yoshio really likes Fuyumi Yuki. He always is, sits me on his lap and tells me all about her. Everything is perfect about her, he says. Her singing, her dancing, her looks, everything. Huh. Huh. Pete, were you getting jealous of somebody? You like this Yoshido person? Alright, so that's... I realize this is no longer a maze. It's not a maze, because every route has a has an ending that's necessary. So that's great for us. Sort of. Not really. I, I could care less. I did not need to go that overkill, I know. I'm sorry. I also don't need to go this overkill with the times three attack, but... Well, what am I to do? Sometimes you just want to watch your Lotus Mon burn the world. Alright. Ooh, we got a Mind Disc for that. That's really good. Uh, we got Revive! Wow! You are amazing! We don't need a Heavy Strike 1. You uh, you have Revive now. That's really good. And we can make a Garubon now. Alright, so let's head down here. And let's take this route over here. Now, there's two routes we can take from over here. Oh wait, I think I've been on this route before. Damn it. Damn it, I've tricked myself. Yes, I have. Okay, I've tricked myself. That is a shame. So down there is the last piece, probably. Which means I need to go... Ah, oh, I totally went the wrong way. I don't know which route will take me there. I just need to take every path until I find it. Garumon all by itself? How sad. Oh, yay, she leveled up again, so she's uh, faster than Diaboromon. I actually do prefer her to be faster, since she has a move that hits everybody. Dar Boromon does too, but it's nowhere near as strong. Dude, Dar Boromon's so menacing. Like, do you see how he walks? And, like, he's so much bigger than everyone? Everyone's running but him. He's so big, he takes up so, so much space that he doesn't need to run. Yes, I see Lotusmon is floating. She has the power to float. That is amazing. But that's not my point. My own, am my own amazement can't be, uh... <clears throat> overtaken by the size of Diaboromon. Alright, so that's the only other route. It ha the last piece has to be on this route here. And then a secondary route that I haven't taken. 
Alright, somewhere on this path. Okay, well, somewhere on this path. There we go. With no blueprints to draw upon, Conky was poured and rebar was erected, tailored onto the land and the site. When construction was concluded four years later, the final building had three underground floors as well as ten floors above ground. East Asia's greatest commercial building was therefore constructed on little more than sheer willpower. However, this came at a cost to aspects of NGNB's integrity. The escalator, for instance, only connects to the first three floors. Uh, most of the underground floors have also gone unused in the ensuing years. Such quirks are a direct result of the circumstances surrounding the building's inception. Yoshido told me that he and his son have been uh, to a, a World's Fair once. He said that the, uh, that the line to see the moon rocks was really long, so long that it made them tired. But he said his son still had a good time. People also call Yoshido Chief Mizushima? His full name is y Yoshido Mizushima? Should I know who that is? In the computer room, so he doesn't get to go out with his son much. He's glad that they... Okay, he got to go to the World's Fair that made him happy. So now we know who this person is. That's good. We got two pieces of information. But we also have a lot more areas we need to explore. So maybe this is the path to a correct zone. Or it's taking us back here. Okay. Wait. This is way longer than normal. No, this is the same zone. Yeah, wait. This took us back here? What the heck? That makes no sense to me. And thanks to Lotus Mom being faster, Seven Fantasia's gonna murder. We don't need the panic, they're dead. Alright, very good. Oh, Cherrymon's been ready to evolve for a while now, whoops. Sorry Cherrymon, I know you want to get to your Mega Form, and I'm very excited to see what it ends up being. I know it's not- I'm not going for the Puppet Mom form, we already have Piedmon. Mom, we don't need any more Dark Masters. We're, we're good here. Although you can never have too many good Dark Masters when you really think about it. Alright, so that's three areas so far. Hey, an Andrew Woman! And they got a back attack on us. Ooh, Piedmon hates it. Thank you for attacking her. And now show them what you can do. My Lady Davidmon became a Lotus Mon, so she knows Andrew Woman like the back of her hand. Boom, baby! Holy crap, that just yeah, they just erased. Alright. Again, I really good experience. So one good thing about this being a maze-ish area is that we're getting really good experience. And that experience is going to help us out in the long run. Alright, we're back up here again. I can't really think of any other routes to go on. Am I supposed to go on or oh, wait. Am I am I supposed to take this information and tell it to the old man to see if he knows what's up? I might need to do that. I feel like there's one more piece of information I'm missing, but that doesn't matter. Cherrymon. Alright, let's see what you can become. Cherrymon, Digivolve 2! Grand Kuagamon! That's a cool Digimon right there. That is a cool one. And it's a virus. Nice. Very nice. Everyone else, Gatamon, how close are you to getting an evolution? Ooh, who is this? That is someone you're not getting any time... ever. <laughs> Uh, I guess we can go for Lilymon. No, oh, Cam 50. That's a lot of Cam. We are not in that zone. Might go for another Andrew Woman. Nothing wrong with that. All right, let's uh, let's go talk to Old Man just to see if this information does anything for him. Maybe it'll make him happy. Maybe it'll make him sad. I could care less either way. Or wait, there's a teleporter right here in the beginning. That could matter. Catastrophe Cannon. Yeah, there we go. Alright, Grand Kuagamon. Having that is going to be really awesome. I never killed... I, I fought one in Digimon World Next Order, got my ass kicked, never went back to him. I feared that man for the rest of my life. Ah, yes, that looks like the final piece of information right there. Unless there's five, which didn't screw me. Alright, just keep using Seven's Fantasy. This is a really cool move. I don't know why. A wielder? Uh, I mean, a, a magician or some sort of mage that uses two staffs is really cool to me. I don't know what about it, what about it makes it really cool, but just two staffs sounds amazing. It's like dual wielding staffs. Why should that matter? It does. It does. Okay. It's amazing. I want. I want. I want to dual wield, and then I want to put a staff in my. I'm gonna. Th I'm gonna uh, 
I'm gonna have a three stat. I'm gonna have three stats. And you're gonna all gonna call me Zoro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But you know, I'm a mage instead of a swordsman. And I'll find a way to put one on my knees. And then I'll have five stats. And then I'll be unbeatable. I'll be the strongest mage ever. Although, I have to admit, if I were to pick a class, it would probably be a support class. I guess mages could be supports. Alright, are run by their owners who control everything, the PR tenants, whatever. BW is an exception for that role. From the very start, shop and resno spaces all alike were sold piecemeal. People who bought their real estate inside the building were, there, were, were then free to utilize it however they please. Uh, open shop owners and residents started a remodeling work in their respective apartments. Oh, very nice. So they got it to look good. Yoshido always has me sitting on his lap petting me on the head nice and gently. I love Yoshido. Yoshido always calls me Miko. Miko's a girl's name. But Yoshido gave it to me, so I love it. And that's probably enough information. So Pete is Miko. And Miko used to work... Oh, wait, but that means Yoshido, back in 1960s, had a Digimon. A Digimon transferred all the way over here from the 1960s. This is a bigger deal than I thought. Oh, Jesus Christ. They expect me to go all the way back like this? I, I, I wonder. Hold up. Let me, uh... Let me see if I have the power to just uh, beep out of here. Am I that lucky? A lot of interesting things. Please, 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 please. Get me the hell out of here. No! It takes me back here. I have to go all the way back. Oh, that's annoying. Why add tedium? Unless I didn't get all the information and they're gonna they were supposed to teleport me back. That makes more sense. That makes way more sense than me walking back. Then, uh, but why am I still walking back, you may ask? Because I can't trust myself. I can't trust logic either. Logic is a fool's game. Ooh, you guys are tanky. Didn't expect anyone to survive the seven fantasies. Especially if they're weak to it. Alright, well, thank God for Diaboromon and his creepy laugh. Alright, let's get rid of... I'm never gonna use Chain Plus, like, ever. Mmm, you guys are getting pretty close. Level 25 is looking good. This is looking real good. Alright, so let's go talk to the old man and see what he has to say about all this nonsense. Oh wait, this is the wrong way. I can already tell. This is where I came from, is this path over here. I remember the overlap. Monze Mons! Oh, if this won't kill him, the mock rush will. Oh, one of them died this time. I got a crit. Damn. Damn, that's a pretty good basic attack. Although Diaboromon is a physical attacker, so that makes sense. God damn, we're leveling up like crazy. I'm already ready for evolutions again. Who would have thunk it? Alright, let's go all the way back. Let's go talk to the old man and be like, Hey, do you know these things about this creature? And he'll be like, Yes. I, I don't I don't think that's how it's going to go. He's going to be like, You're missing one piece of information. I'm going to be like, God freaking damn it. Alright, let's see. Hey, sir. Alright, so yeah, I don't have enough information. What do you want from me? Look for Pete. Alright, so Pete's in there somewhere. Let's go back in. Sorry for wasting everyone's time. I knew I knew it was wrong. It felt wrong. But at the same time, I had to try. Because I it's 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 like a maze, but at the same time, I felt like I did go through everything. So there must have been one route that I just didn't see. One route. You know what? I have this power. Let me use it. Yeah, let's uh let's not deal with any bullcrap. It's gonna reduce the encounter rate for a little bit. Mostly because I backtrack for no reason, so there's no reason to force an encounter. Yeah, let's just fly across the path. Almost there. Don't worry, Pete, we're coming for you. We'll find you, and you're gonna tell us what happened between you and this old man. Also, I need you to tell me, how the hell 
How the hell did you come to the human world back in the 1960s? Like, that's insane. I thought the whole thing that made this happen was the cyber sleuth. Not the cyber sleuth. It was the... Uh, the, the project, uh, the, the Eden project. I thought that opened up the portal. Alright, Garumon, you're gonna get a nightmare. Yeah. You're gonna hate this nightmare, too. It's gonna be about Chucky the doll. That's someone I used to have a nightmare about way back when I was a little kid. Never saw the movie, just feared the idea of him. I don't know why. We, we make up fears for ourselves. It's just, it's just what we do. We do it as adults, too. And it's what holds us back the most. Then again, who cares? <laughs> oh, crap. This was not going to be the right way. Okay. I've been this way many times. So what if it's the very top way? Oh, speaking of which, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Digi-evolutions are more important. We all can agree on that. All right, hold the phone. Digi-evolutions. Let's get us a freaking Angel Woman on again. Maybe this time we'll have a better chance of going somewhere with her. She's got a lot of that ABI whatnot. Yeah, she could probably go for this form this time. More this one. Nah, she's got options. Angelmon's got options. Metal Tyranomon, you're already an ultimate. Magna Angelmon, you're on your way. Piedmon, everyone's good. It's almost time for me to start degenerating my my megas, which is a sad thing to do, but it's 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 necessary. Oh yeah, I should probably do this again. Not like I don't mind the experience. The experience is very good, but we've already backtracked more than we needed, so let's go ahead and not run into a bunch of people again. Pete, I'm coming for you. I'm gonna find you, and then I'm gonna yell at you for- oh, whoops. So the top route again, it's not the right route. Where could it- where could Pete possibly be in this place? Could he be in the digital line? In the stream of data? I guess that's possible, but I, it would be unlikely. Alright, so if that's not the right route, and that's not the right route, and this route leads to nowhere, this was just like, hey, there's information on this route. Ooh, you got through the security. Look at you. You get to get yourself, you get to die. I hope you're proud. <laughs> Poor little guy. It's like, I hope I'm, you're proud of yourself. You got through this security, and now that means you you have no way of surviving this. I was gonna let you live. I was gonna be nice. I didn't have a choice, though. Because you came to me. There's a portal up there, but there's no way up there. Yeah, we already... Okay. So then the only other route is the bottom left route. Bottom left. And then there's gotta be some way that it does something. Because that's all four routes. One there. Those two end up in the same place. Bottom left route is one of the places it ends up, though, so that's weird. That's weird. And this route ends up up here, and then this ends up with nothing. Yeah. I am completely confused. Where where do they expect me to go? Am I just blind? Like, I've seen the route, but I just never... never consider taking it? Look for Pete. This is the only place that we've gone. I could talk to Mariah, if anything. She'll help me. She's a nice person like that. She's helpful. Okay, and where would this take? This takes me back up here. Yeah, this takes me back here. Let me go to the DigiLab. She'll help. Mariah, please help me. I feel like I'm going in circles, and I don't know where to go. Yeah, I know that. Oh, no, help me with the case, please. I need to know where Pete is. Please help me. I think I might I, I think I might have to just skip this one, guys. I'll skip to where Pete is because I don't want to get lost on screen for too long. Bye-bye. Guys, I am so upset. I literally just missed it because I didn't walk down far enough. That was it. That was the only thing. You guys probably already knew that. Alright, so. The basement of Broadway once housed a vacuum tube computer within its walls. It has been brought into the building after the end of World War II by war criminals who evaded arrest, shielded from the prying eyes of MacArthur's GHQ. The vacuum tube computer's purpose in those days remains a mystery. It is possible it could have been utilized for things such as mathematical computations or code breaking, but such speculations is unconfirmed. As to what a time went on, there was eventually nobody left to carry on the original purpose set forth for the terminal. At the point, the computer was apparently buried inside a wall somewhere. It's dark in here. I can't see anything. 
Uh, I'm not scared of everything, but it's never been this dark before. Yoshida is not here. I don't even smell him. I can't go back outside. Yoshida, where are you? Yoshido, Yoshido, please sit me on your lap. Pet my head again. Yoshido, Yoshido. Was Pete trapped for 40 years or more? I'm, I'm, yeah, you're, you're, you're a cat. Oh shit, can you feel that? Oh my god, she can actually feel it. Okay, you might want to get out of the building, Kyoko, if I fail this. Who am I? Somebody, anybody tell me. Alright, I'm gonna help you out here, Pete. Even if it makes you sad. Your name's Pete. Yeah, your name's not... Oh, wow, I have to battle you if I get it wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I did not answer your questions correctly, and now I'm paying the price. I am so sorry, little buddy. You know what? Here's a nightmare. As an apology. You're really strong, Pete. What the hell? My Mega Digimon can't kill a freaking baby? That's a problem. That's a problem when the opponent is this strong. Windclaw 3 on who? Okay. Well, at least we should get some good experience for this, even though you're a baby. Let's see if I can panic you. You don't give a shit. I'm immobilized. Okay. Well, we're going to kill you with the Trump Sword, so good fight, Pete. Good fight. We finally get to fight Pete. Or, well, we know that's not Pete, really. That He has a real name now. It's like Miko or something. Yeah. Oh, wow. He's not worth a lot of experience at all. But I guess for his, you know, for being a baby, I guess he is. Yeah, that's right. My name is Miko. Yoshioda is my friend. Pete is your friend. Yoshioda's calling out for me. He's been looking for me this whole time. He found me. Aw, it only took him 50-something years. 60-something years, maybe. Kyoko, is the, the everything okay? Yeah, thank God. I'm good at this. I'm good at my job. Miko, it's really you. I'm so sorry you've been waiting for me for so long. I'm the one who should be apologizing here, Miko. I'm the one who left you alone this whole time. I'm sorry, old friend. Miko, thank you. If it wasn't for you, I'd never live to see Miko with my own eyes again. You do know Miko's a Digimon, right? Back when the Vacuum 2 computer room was still around, I lived here in this building away from my family. That computer room was where I used to work. The only family I ever had was Miko. I talked with Miko about everything there. My memories of my family, Fuyumi Yuki, anything to, that had to help them from the loneliness. He would join me in the computer room and we spent many, many hours together over the years. Eventually, they closed down the room and sealed the whole thing off with a thick wall. It was around that time I lost Miko too. I couldn't find him anywhere. I had a bad feeling where this might... Yeah, if you had a bad feeling he would be here still. Dude, you... That's messed up that you left this cat alone for like decades. That's really messed up. But you know what? At least Pete has a nice conclusion. He's back with his family for the next maybe 10 years and then that old man will be dead. And somehow, using the building's intranet, or rather the power of its ley line, he merged with a computer, ley line, uh, and became a, a Digimon. That old cat's a hell of, wait, had a hell of a life. Wouldn't you agree, Cooper? Well, no, he's been stuck in a wall all his life. That's, that's not a hell of a life, that's horrible. I guess a hell of, okay, never mind, a hell of a life. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, what is he, what do you think he meant by that? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. If we look into Bad Fur, we might be able to find our answers pretty easily. What do you think? Should we dig a little more? Nah, leave him ha let him be happy. Yeah, let sleeping dogs lie. Let them be happy. That's right, not all mysteries need to be solved. This seems like what how the game would end, but we're definitely not ending with the with P going home. I honestly thought like okay, so they just it's they couldn't animate him walking with P with Pete or Nico, whatever. Alright guys, that's gonna be it. Thank you for watching this super extra long episode, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Bye bye.